I'd like to welcome family members, the Kwans, the Lambs, friends of the bride and groom, as Isaac and Claire are joined together today in marriage. Claire, almost exactly six years ago, we met on our first day of medical school. What started out as two classmates walking to lecture together grew into a beautiful friendship. Eventually, we started realizing we would be great as more than just friends. Fast forward another several years, and it was then I realized you weren't just someone I wanted to do life with now, but someone I wanted to be part of my family forever. Isaac, when we first met, I would never have imagined standing here with you. But I was won over by your character, loving heart, sincerity, and the strength of your convictions. These last four years, I don't know how I would have survived without you. I don't know what the future holds for us, but I do know you, I know your heart, and I that you will fight for us and put our marriage first. You're my best friend, and together we can do anything. You've inspired me to be a better person over the six-year-long journey of friendship to marriage, and I promise to continue improving myself for you the rest of my life. This is where God's love kicks in, the sacrificial love that changes lives and endures through a lifetime. Love that sets examples of greatness in a home for families, communities, and nations. The fabric of nation is the family, the fabric of the family is marriage, and the author of marriage is God. We pray that this agape, this love supreme, reigns in your lives. And now by the authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel and by the laws of the state, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Isaac, you may kiss the bride. Claire, even though dad is not here physically, he's here in spirit and watching us on your very special day. He loved you, and he's a million times more proud and grateful for that little girl that she found her happily ever after. Ladies and gentlemen, here's to our future, to all of you look forward together, to the new bride and groom, to the new Mr. and Mrs. Lamb. Congratulations. Isaac, I meant it when I wrote nine years ago that you are the most wonderful accident that happened to mommy and me. You have also become one of my best friends. I feel so blessed to experience firsthand what a loyal, caring, and wise friend you are. Claire, the more we got to know you, the more we grew to love you deeply discovering the many wonderful traits of yours, which we believe Isaac hasn't noticed yet. I knew that Claire was just the perfect potential and future bride of Isaac. You could tell how natural their relationship was. Both of you really could not have found better people for one another. Thank you all for being here to celebrate Claire and Isaac's love. And for one last time, please join me in congratulating the newlyweds. Isaac, you truly could not have found a more beautiful, smart, intelligent, just overall perfect bride. As strong and capable as she is, I think we all deserve someone we can trust and depend on. So thank you for being that person for her. May our loving God richly bless your marriage 
with each other and with him.